Hello and welcome to another video. Here is the finished painting of the frog. It came out better than I thought it was going to. So, what I did first was the water here. I mixed grey with simply black and white and I made sure it was quite a nice light grey, not too dark. I put it on when it was still wet. I got some cerulean blue and put that in. So that it kind of mixed in places on the canvas. And I left that to dry. And I did some work on the flowers while that was dry. Then I did the banks, all trimarine, not all trimarine, I mean burnt umber. It does start with a U, umber, right? Anyway, burnt umber. And then I did a slightly lighter version to put in stipples, like that, and it looked like ground and then. On the other side, I just put the, the yellow ochre I added to make it lighter. On the other side, I did the yellow ochre in the strip instead of in the stipples to make it look different from the bank. Then I uh, left that to dry for a bit as well and went back to the flowers. And um, then the frog itself was done with my acrylic inks. I used um, little plastic palettes that came with my black canvases and luminous paints, and I put the ink in the in the round um, hole, the round, the round parts of the palette. Um, I put out some yellow and some green, and I tested what they looked like on a piece of scrap paper. And then I, I mixed the yellow with the green and looked, saw how, what that looked like. Um, then I did the same with the red, tested what the red looked like on its own and mixed some of the red in with the mixture of the yellow and green to make a kind of brown colour. And so I started on the frog. I just did areas of him first. Um, making sure to leave the lighter parts. Then I did patterns. Oh my goodness. And then I went, and then I went around with the lighter brown. Um, and I added some black to make the brown dark under this bit. This is a dark shadow here underneath the frog. Then I did this dark and added some spattles on it. When the when I did all the patterns and all the bits around the patterns, I did the lighter bits with a mixture of the yellow and there's some white for the lightest bits. I, I came to do the eye with the black bit first. Let it dry, and do the white bit around it, let that dry, then did some more bits around it. And the last thing I did was the white dot in the eye. Okay. And it came out better than I thought it was going to do. Because when I did the painting, when I did the background first, it kind of seeped into the actual frog. So there was blue all down here, and I thought I wasn't going to be able to rescue it. But I did, just by putting the brown ink on top of where the blue was. I can't tell anything happened, really. So, I'm really, really quite pleased with that frog.
but I haven't finished the um the flower the flowers yet but I will show you how far I've done with those in the next video so that's the end of this video then if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I will see you later bye